Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I'm talking about the Orville season number one, episode number four. If the stars should appear, this episode directed by James L. Conway. And here we have Captain Mercer and his crew. And they come across a giant ship adrift out in the, in the galaxy. And the engines are dead and the, and the ship is just sailing along. And it's, and it's on course to crash and the go to crash on top of a huge star, which 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 will just burn the ship up and anybody inside. So Captain Mercer takes a small crew with him. He takes um um his second in command, Commander Grayson, um Dr. Um, Dr. Flynn, and Lieutenant Lieutenant Catan and Isaac. He takes them along to pretty much warn the people what's 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 going on with them, that their ship is about to crash into a star. And if they can, possibly help them fix their ship so they get back on course. And but, but, but when they enter the ship, they, they realize the people on the ship don't know they're on the ship. See, they, they, see this, is like, this is generations and generations and generations of people down the line. And somewhere along the line, their history got lost. And they had developed a, a, a religion worshipping a god called Dural. And through this, they have developed their laws, their rules, their philosophies, everything that makes them who they are and what they believe in is based off of this belief in this, of this creator, Dural. And the person who's leading this is um, Hamilek, who's played by Robert Nipper. And he pretty much rules everybody with an iron fist. He uses a, their, their religion to people keep, keep Keep people under control and to make sure they follow his rules at all times. And if anybody who goes against the, the laws of the raw, he punishes them. But the way he goes about it is he doesn't do it himself. He pretty much ignites the, the people to get them all fired up and have them attack the person who is going against their God, which is really messed up. And then you have Lieutenant Bortus. He's having some problems with his mate, um, Clyden. Ever since the whole sex change of their, of their child, they have not been on the same page. And they're not pretty much having, well, not having sex anymore. And it's starting some conflict within, within the relationship. But he can't really deal with, deal with that right now. He has to pretty much lead the crew while the captain is away. And while he's in charge... He gets called away to help out, uh, help out some people who are being attacked by the crawl. So you have the captain, Captain Mercer, and his crew on the ship trying to save them and try to wake them up and let them know that there's more to this world than what's going on here, and that and that if they don't let them help them, they will die. And then you have Lieutenant Lieutenant. Um, Brutus, who has to lead his lead the crew to pretty much save some people from being attacked by the crawl, who is pretty much like their main enemy so far. Overall, this was a, a really great episode. First of all, the special effects on the show has always been amazing. I don't know how much money this show has. I really don't know. But they seem to have to give them a lot of money. Because something happens in this episode that blew my mind and I did not see coming. Yeah, and I, I don't want to say exactly what happened. It happens towards the end, and it makes and, and, and once you see this, everything about what's going on makes perfect sense of what happened what's happening on that ship. What happened on, on that ship. But I did not see this coming at all. I don't know how the heck I got it, had it in the budget, but I enjoyed it when I saw it. It was it was just amazing. The humor on the show is great. I am I'm enjoying that. And actually starting to make me laugh now. And the balance between the subject matter that is going on here, like the, about re, about religion and politics and people use, abusing their power to control people, to keep people under control. How people some, some people with power like ignite negativity for so so they so they can get um the results they want and keep people in line. So that they they, 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 they they will start a conflict. That will have bad results, but the but the, but but it keeps them in power and it keeps them in charge, and the willingness that people have of not listening to the truth, because they're so scared that if people actually know the truth, 
They will lose their power. They do anything they possibly can to make sure everybody just stays in line. They, they, they better have them die to actually know the truth, which is really, really messed up. Like, wow. I have, been, I have been enjoying this show a whole lot, but I love this show. I really do. I love the fact that it's willing to go there to touch certain subject matter that's relevant for the day. Wow. Amazing. Especially certain things that's going on in the news with our president, what happened in Charlotte. I mean, all, all this stuff that's going down is like, oh. And then this show kind of reflects what's happening, what's going on now. It's like, like wow, it's amazing. Amazing. I wonder if this show had, would have this much of an impact if, if um, Trump wasn't our president. I mean, would, would the subject matter still be the same or would it be something different? Who knows? Who knows? But for now, I'm enjoying the show. I'm, I'm loving where it's going. Um, Seth MacFarlane doing a great job writing the show. I, I, I enjoy the direction. And like I said, the balance between the humor and the subject matter is, is great. Because it's the perfect balance. Because it's not, it's, not, it's not just one style taking over the, from the other. And then the, all, all of a sudden it's, it's, it's starting to get serious. It, it's kind of, the humor is kind of mellowed in throughout the, whole, um, throughout the whole series. But it's still not too overpowering that it can't be serious at the same time too. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of The Orville. And if you haven't watched The Orville, look take my word for it. Check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy it and have fun watching it, too. Because I am enjoying this show. And I am happy. I'm happy every time I watch after every episode. So, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So, give my channel the big old like, hit the thumbs up. And boom! And subscribe to my channel. And share. I really would appreciate this, like I always say in my... Dreams in real life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.